am Dr. Devaraj. Whenever we get an opportunity at a higher level, we have to consider its a responsibility. And we must see that because of our position, all people are benefited, both the management, the society, students, the faculty, everybody should feel very comfortable. And for that, we ourselves initiate and volunteer to accept their responsibilities. And in, I remember that when I was selected as the principal of this great institution, I reported the management in a letter stating that instead of uh, I am uh, accepting the power, I wrote a letter stating that I am accepting the responsibility. Even today I retain that, I maintain that, and because of that I got a lot of support from the students, the staff, management, and uh, our presence wherever we are should bring you pleasure. And that is possible only when we are ready to sacrifice some of our comforts. And once you become an employee, 24 hours we are employees. And any time, I am not discouraging anybody to come and meet me. And I, in case somebody takes appointment, I make it a point to be there and see that they are satisfied. Whether it is a public or a management or student or a faculty. And I will not say no to anybody. This is how I have managed for the last 18 to 20 years. And because of that, this institution progressed and we have reached this level. And everywhere we are recognized. And in fact, our students are very happy because of the growth which have taken place in the last 18 or 20 years. And when I took over this management institute, at that time we had only 186 students, only had two, three faculty. Today we have more than 100 staff members and 1,675 students. And all students are very happy. And at the same time, I have not given negative balance sheet to the management in spite of all the hurdles and we managed it in such a way that students also not felt that they are paying higher fees. And that's how parents were also happy, students are also happy, and I am also happy. And in addition to that, I feel we have to practice ethics in every situation. And we should not compromise the basic principles, values, and all that. And that will be admired by the students and the parents. And uh, today our students are giving respect, not because I'm extraordinarily accomplished in academics, but because my life itself is a message to them. They observe what I am doing at all that morning till evening, and all the time our simplicity and uh, prompt uh, services to the students as well as to the faculty and the management, that makes me distinct. And uh, at the same time, to our subject, we'll have to do justice and whatever the developments are taking place, and we'll have to learn, and a teacher should be always a student. And I say that in this institution, I'm the first student, and rest all uh, will also be the students, but uh, in that way, all teachers today, if you look at our uh, college magazine or calendar or prospects, whatever it may be, you find all the teachers are double postgraduate, triple postgraduates, and uh, many are doctorates, and it is because we encourage them and enthuse them. I tell them, if you want to be a teacher, be student lifelong. And the moment you stop uh, learning, you cease to become a teacher, and the students should always follow you. And uh, there is a very popular saying in addition to that, Guru vina parakrama kinta shishyana parishrama vimeru. This also we will tell. It's not only we should accomplish, we should tell the students, not only we, we should also work and we should just we are the examples. And in that way, you should also be motivated. They should be inspired. And uh, students will uh, understand that. Today, our students scattered all over the world. And they are doing extremely well. And many of them are uh, uh, quite a prosperous businessmen, professionals, in whichever way they are contributing to this nation and to the world which brings me a lot of satisfaction and teaching is a noble profession. I tell all my youngsters, love teaching profession. And okay, in case you don't become a teacher, love the job. What That is very important wherever you are. Devotion to duty, dedication, determination, that makes it distinct. And all our students should remember this. And that is the message I give to all.